What is happening? Welcome to today's pitcher video breakdown um, where I go over pitchers from the past couple days or so and I break down their starts of, on a specific inning going through what they threw, what's going on with sequencing, mechanics, all that kind of stuff as we figure out are they actually good, are they actually this bad and trying to figure out what's going on moving forward. Uh, today is voted by Twitch chat. If you don't know, I'm doing this live uh, Monday through Friday from 10.15 to 11 a.m. at twitch.tv slash pitcherless. Definitely go check that out in the description below. Uh, but they voted to watch the second inning of Corey Kluber's incredible eighth inning 10 strikeout start. So we'll be doing that. We'll be getting to Trevor Rogers and a couple others as well later on. But first, we're going to start off with this. So this is the first pitch of the, the second inning. And I do want to note, um, I know this from Corey Kluber yesterday. The main thing that was working for him as he figured out through this start was a changeup. Um, I believe he had 13 out of 25 uh, changeups were whiffs yesterday, which is crazy good. Uh, and it's not really typical for Corey Kluber. But keep in mind, his repertoire, especially against a right-hander versus a left-hander. Left-handers is where he used those change-ups. For right-handers, it's sinkers trying to go back door over here. Uh, for strikes, you have uh, your, his big breaking ball that is going to break way down into this zone. Uh, and you're going to have cutters that are going to try and be uh, up, maybe trying to steal strikes here, maybe a little bit off the plate. Corey Kluber traditionally does not go inside much uh, against right-handers. That's just not his MO. It's not really what he does. Sometimes you might see a, a, a breaking ball fall in there. Maybe you'll get a fastball that kind of sneaks in there. But for the most part, we're going to be looking on the outer third uh, for Corey Kluber against right-handers. So let's see how he approaches this. Uh, I believe this is a scope here. Okay, so there's a fastball he got in there. That's not a good pitch, honestly. He's trying to get that away, trying to steal a strike there. He does, I'm happy he attacked, but it's not really the pitch that you want uh, from Corey Kluber. Uh, you kind of want that away more. Whatever, he got a strike. Sko missed it. He's kind of upset about it. And by the way, if you didn't know, we're using uh, MLB's film room. It's fantastic. And Okay, that's actually a really good pitch. He did jam him inside, so we did actually see Corey Kluber go inside once. It's 0-2 now. Very, very solid pitch, honestly. Um, movement inside. Scope is kind of looking away. Knows the MO, of course, of Corey, of Corey Kluber going away. But now here's the thing. It's open to old Corey Kluber would be going with a breaking ball away. That's kind of what he's known for. Uh, so you're probably going to see a breaking ball away. And that's what he did. But he overthrew that one, which is really frustrating. Uh, and at 0-2, fine. You waste one. Okay. Sometimes I see pitchers now that they mess up on their breaking ball. Um, the pitch that they were supposed to get the guy out with at 0-2, that they start moving away and they feel like they need to reset it up. Uh, you don't need to do that. Honestly, if I'm Corey Kluber now, I'm trying to throw a better one. Uh, and I would throw it the same pitch again, just execute it better at 1-2. And he did. Ah! Oh, dude, that's much better. That's way better. Look at this. This starts This starts like it's coming back over the uh, the outside corner. The typical idea is, cool, you just messed up on that breaking ball. You don't have it. You're not going to trust it. Corey Kluber throws an excellent one, and he gets that swing and miss as it lands down and away. That's exactly where Corey Kluber wants it. That is prime Corey Kluber. I mean, maybe on the 0-2 pitch, not necessarily the 1-2. Uh, the, the, uh, All right, so now against a lefty, um, Corey Kluber, different plan of attack. And especially yesterday we saw, I'm, I'm going to guess this is going to end in like a change-up whiff or something like that. But for the most part, it sinkers inside. Um, that start at the hip and come back over the plate. So he's going to try it and get this upper quadrant um, with, with sinkers. Uh, you're probably going to see change-ups down here. And pairing with this fastball, and this is what makes Corey Kluber so effective against lefties often, is that he has this incredible cutter that is going to fall down and make, make hitters wonder, like, should I stay in on this fastball? Is it going to come back over the plate, or is it going to come in and eat me inside? Uh, you don't really see too often... Corey Kluber utilized that breaking ball uh, down and in, um, but because he has such a good weapon in that cutter and now, honestly, in that changeup, he really doesn't need to use that that big breaking ball down here. Uh, he can just kind of save that for right-handers. So first pitch here, oh, oh. Uh, he's trising over the cutter. 88, that is that cutter. Um, 84, 85, that is more of the breaking ball, the one that just got scope. That is the cutter. It does have that same kind of movement. It's just not as dramatic, of course. Uh, so that's inside. All right, we're going to move on from there. Um, so, okay, so note this is uh, this is the bug here. Okay, so 1-0. Uh, he's feeling his changeup. And this actually, seeing Higashioka set up like this, 
generally when you're thinking like, okay, what does he throw? Fastball, it's cutter, and curveball. None of those are typically away, right? So I see this, especially also the lower glove. Like, that's a changeup coming. And you see him getting down. There it is. And wow, <laughs> that's not even a good one. That, that, like, that's not a good one. Um, I mean, sure, this is the Tigers. This is Castro, 226 hitter or whatever. Like, against a good team, you're not going to get that swing. You know, that's that's in the dirt changeup. And he got that swing on it. So let's watch that again. Like, it's supposed to be over here. It, it, that's just not a good swing. Especially 1-0 when you're ahead in the count. Uh, so, back to 1-1. I would think that it's going to be that cutter coming back in again. Has he got it? Really nice one. That's the one that's supposed to... That starts on the inside corner. Castro's kind of hoping that just set up with that fastball. He missed on the cutter on the first pitch. He's got to get that fastball. And at some point, he's going to try and get that sinker over the plate. Instead, it falls off. It's a cutter. It gets a foul ball. It's a free strike every single time if you can execute that. Beautiful, beautiful pitch. Now it's... Okay, now it's 1-2. I uh, I have to think he's going back to the changeup. You just saw Castro miss on that not so good changeup earlier in the count. You just set it up again, going inside. Then you go back away. You can also see that Higgy's away, so I'm kind of cheating in this, but it makes a lot of sense. Beautiful! Oh my God! Look at that location! Look at that! That's that's absolutely perfect. And on release of this, look at that! I mean this. It's deceptive. It makes you think it's right in the middle. It's not necessarily, but that's high enough. Just think about the 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 height of this and the depth as it falls away. Oh, look at that! Butt is out. He's he's out in front, and he's he's got no chance. Let's watch this one more time. Gorgeous, gorgeous changeup from Corey Kluber. Ah, ah, he earned that completely. So I mean, the point I'm trying to make here is that changeup. I don't know necessarily is always there for Corey Kluber. It hasn't been his thing for years, you know. It's always been really the cutter and the and the the uh, the curveball or break or whatever you want to call that. He has had a changeup, nothing as good as this. Um, it's when he had 13 to 25 um, whiffs the throne yesterday on that changeup, which is crazy. So now it's another lefty, and like he just threw it a beautiful changeup. I can understand if Higgy's like, hey, let's just throw that to start. Oh no, that's a backdoor breaking ball. That's 80, and the Yankees actually like this. Um, Tanaka used to do it a ton. I think Tyone's trying to do it a lot as well. Uh, you see Garrett Cole do it. First pitch, oh, oh. Top of the second two out. You're throwing that, that breaking ball. And I will say this. Um, I've mentioned this before. When you see two outs, base is empty. A pitcher will often throw a pitch that they haven't quite found in that outing yet. Like, it's it's an opportunity to 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 invest in a pitch that hopefully when you need it later on, it's not just all of a sudden something you haven't thrown for three innings. Like, you can mess around. You can get a ball here. It's okay. Even if you walk him, whatever, it's fine. Base is empty, two outs, right? So, Kluber, I would say, between the cutter, fastball, changeup, and breaking ball, even though we saw that good one to scope earlier on, that breaking ball is maybe the one that he wants to fine-tune a little bit more. So, I love this pitch call. I think you could normally steal a strike, and you can get Kluber to, to maybe get a better feel for that when he needs it later on. Uh, so he misses with that one. Fine. All right. Abandon that idea. Go with a cutter or a fastball inside. Get that strike. Really nice cutter. Again. Again. And as I say every time, that, that will generally return either a foul ball or a swing strike, maybe even an out. And this one, Kluber, yeah, he got the swing strike. They called that around. So good stuff there. Um, are they doing what I think they're doing? I think right now the way that he's setting up uh, is that this is going to be a sinker coming back over. Which we actually haven't seen against the lefty, right? In the, in the other at bat, it was uh, against Castro. It was cutters and changeups, essentially. This one, we got the curveball away, the cutter, and now all, we're going to play off of it, right? Because Goodrum almost check swung on that cutter. We're going to say, well, you don't want to check swing this time. And oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. So this is front hip. This starts, I can't really see it there, but this starts coming in here and just comes across and especially after having that cutter that came in on the previous one Goodrum's probably thinking oh man I gotta be careful about that I don't want to earn another strike with it and Kluber gets a free strike that's how he should be using his sinker right as getting free opportunities to to uh, essentially called strikes constantly on sinkers it's not a pitch that he wants to induce weak contact with because let's be honest Kluber's worst pitch is that sinker especially when it comes to bad ball events so stuff that's in play 
But that's a really, really well executed one. He's going to often get that strike unless it's a really disciplined hitter who's who's expecting it. If especially if it comes in starts in that far inside that he expects it to come back over. So now one two, you know what's coming, right? It's going to be a changeup. It's got to be. It's the pitch that's been working. Oh, it's not. He goes back with the cutter. Look at that. And respect to Goodrum for staying in on that one and fouling it off. Um, I'm a little surprised. But maybe it was earlier on in the game that he didn't necessarily understand that he had that change of going. Actually, no, he did. It was He had six out of nine through the first three, uh, first two innings. But yeah, one, two. You're expecting the same thing again. Wow, nice take. That is a great take from Goodrum. That is a really good changeup. Like, that's exactly what we were talking about before, especially with the depth of it. I mean, this is not an, as high as the one we saw him strike at Castro to, but this is, I mean, him playing fastball and, and sinker fastball, uh, sorry, uh, sinker cutter back and forth, that's a really nice changeup. Goodrum just says no. So that's kind of tough. At 2-2, two and two, you've seen Castro swing every time at your cutter and take a, and take the sinker. Uh, you could try that. You could also bank on Goodrum thinking, huh, I just, I just said no to that changeup. I've earned the other things. And I kind of wonder if Kluber's going to say, nah, like, I've got you now. You're not going to expect the second changeup here. Uh, and I would love that. That would make me so happy. Uh, so here we go. Uh, there's the bug, of course, from uh, Film Room. Okay, so he goes back to the cutter. And here's the thing. Goodrum's kind of ready for this now. I mean, yeah, he was still a little uh, uneasy about his timing. Uh, and he quickly recovered by getting that foul ball. But that wasn't, you know, he's getting a better swing on each one of these. And I, I get a feeling that he was, yeah, he was saying, okay, the changeup, I, I earned not a changeup. Uh, so now at 2-2, two, two, and the general rule is that at 2-2, two, two, you throw a 3-2, or essentially you keep throwing that really good pitch until something else happens. I would love to see a changeup. But right, he tried to play off of it. He tried to do like the cutter sinker thing we saw earlier on, hoping that Goodrum would just take it. Goodrum is on this. That's another foul ball. Even though that's a ball, he's like, I'm not going to fall for that. And he fouls it off. It's like, ah, you didn't. In my head, it's like, I know what's going to come next. It has to be the changeup away. Like, it's not even close. You just tried twice with the two other offerings. Did not work. Goodrum's like, nah, you're not going to get me on that. Should have been the changeup. But the thing is, you could have done this two pitches ago. You could you could have done it after you messed up on the previous one. Oh no, no, what is this now? What are they calling? Oh, they go with a breaker. So this is actually something that Clover Kluber doesn't do too often. Is that lefty uh is that lefty breaker? And Goodrum just spits on it. This isn't a bad one. Like it's yeah, sure, it maybe be a little bit farther up to be slightly more tempting. But Goodrum says, nah, I don't I don't want this. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's not a bad pitch. It's just Goodrum's like, no. So here's the thing, 3-2. Goodrum's like, oh, he's totally throwing a sinker or a air cutter. Like, that's what he's been dominating this entire at-bat with. And as you can see, you can see Higgy away. Like, you know this isn't you know this isn't that. You know this is a changeup coming. Oh, and he gets him. So, so, so Goodrum is thinking on release here. On this, he's thinking this is either going to be the fastball that comes back over or the cutter that's going to come in left or right. Uh, and he's just like, I got to commit to this. Because that's inside corner. He's like, if it's a cutter, I know I can foul it off. If it's a fastball, I'm ready for that. And it falls out. Oh, and Goodrum is upset. He, he really That was a really good at bat from Goodrum. But, I mean, Klu Kluber eventually had the faith to go with that, uh, to go with that changeup, which he should have done like three pitches ago. But yeah, it was that was, that was beautiful, and that's really like what Kluber is doing right now. In that inning, you guys did see that he's actually having good command of all of his pitches. The changeup is the one that's really surprising me at the moment, um, and hopefully, hopefully this does continue uh, for Corey Kluber. He does get the Nationals next. I hope it should be more of the same. It should be really fun seeing him go against uh, uh, Trey Turner and the likes. Uh, but I, uh, oh, I just, I just hope that that changeup is there. I think, he, I mean, through this start, he's certainly got the confidence for it. But even just to see the cutter sinker working like it was in that bat against Goodrum, and of course having that breaking ball away to scope, uh, that stuff is is going to stick around, and that's really really exciting to see it. 
All right, next, we are going to go to Jameson Tyone. I believe, actually, I'm sorry, Trevor Rogers in the third inning. Uh, so let's take a look at this. And yes, I'm using uh, um, MLB's Film Room. It's an incredible resource. Everybody should be using it. I believe it's the third inning. Uh, and this is all chosen by chat. Chat, you are wonderful. Looks like these are the two that we're going to do today. All right, let's get through this. So, that's Max Scherzer. I don't want Max Scherzer. I want uh, I want Trevor Rogers. Oh, that's a foul ball to Trevor Rogers. That's funny. Um, okay, so we're going to start here. Here we go. All right, so I got to move myself. I'll do that so you guys can see the... Uh, <laughs> See the count and the score bug and everything. Um, so if you guys don't know Trevor Rogers, uh, the main things you got to know is that he is heavy on fastball. So he has about a mid-90s fastball that can sometimes get pushed to like 98. Uh, but normally it can be like 94, 95. Um, that's a really exciting thing that we saw from last year is that he did increase velocity on that here. Sometimes he averages like 95, 96 even. And well commanded from the left side. He has no fear going inside to right-handers, which is something that I absolutely love seeing from a lefty. Are you able to go inside to right-handers with confidence? Same thing on the other side. You just saw Corey Kluber go inside to uh, to a lefty with effective uh, effective pitches. Rodgers can do that with his fastball. Then it sets up change-ups away. Uh, really, really good change-up. It'll have like a 20 to 25% swing strike rate. That is way above average. Normally, you see about 15%. On changeups, that's excellent. Slider is more of a work in progress. Uh, normally, kind of sneaks it in there. Sometimes uses it more against lefties, uh, getting them away on it. But for the most part, that is not the overwhelming secondary pitch. Trevor Rogers will lean more on that changeup than his four seamer. But that's the approach with Rogers. I want to get that fastball inside, dominate with that, set it up up upstairs as well, just blow it past them, and all of a sudden keep them off balance with the changeup away. Uh, that sometimes can go crazy around like 10 whiffs in a given game because of that fastball. So we're going to watch this one. I believe this is a tough one. This is uh, We're going to see kind of how this inning came to be. Um, so he went against Max Scherzer in this, allowed three earned runs in this inning off of a blast from Ryan Zimmerman. We're going to get to that. Uh, sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> but first of all, he gets, a, he gets Max Scherzer, and this is just a fun at bat. You don't really expect anything much. Uh, there's a fastball away, 94. Sure, it's 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 a pitcher. Just uh, just keep peppering fastballs in here. Oh man, come on, don't get cute, don't get cute, Trevor Rogers. You don't need to do this. this is Max Scherzer. And 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 what I was saying before about finding your pitches, you generally can do that at the bottom of the lineup too, if you want to get a better feel for it. But just just you're good. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that, Trevor Rogers. Uh, so 1-1, one, one, throw another fastball. Oh, man, threw a changeup again. Okay, so at least you can see how filthy that changeup is. But, I mean, if you execute like that, there's not a chance. But just throw fastballs past them. Now you're going to throw, like, heat. It's interesting that they're staying away, though. Oh, man. Oh, no, that's – sorry, this is the bug. He threw a third changeup. Why would you, like – going against pitchers, there's this old philosophy of speeding up their bats – and what I mean by that is if you throw 95 and you're seeing guys that can't catch up to it, throwing a slider or curveball, changeup or whatever, speeds up their bat. Makes it so that they, you know, they can hit 85 instead of 95, right? Even though it's moving more, like, it speeds it up. They allow, to, you know, they can get their timing better. So that's three straight breakers. You could have had a strikeout here, but instead you got, I mean, sure, you got an out. It's just, it could, it could have been a strikeout, Trevor Rogers. <laughs> um... I don't know why it's being weird. Okay. So starting off to okay, so there you go. I got the I got the previous one because of the bug. Um, he tried to start him off with a changeup away, really missed it. Uh, so I guess Rogers wanted to find that pitch against Scherzer. That might have been what that was about. Uh, it's really weird to see him float it to the uh, up and away. It's not really what he does well. And honestly, if I'm the catcher and I see that. I'm I'm calling for an inside fastball to get his calibration back, right? Not an outside fastball, an inside one. Really adjust heavily to go on the other side of the plate so that you can you know adjust back properly, right? Swing the pendulum the other way so that'll be okay. So that's what I would call. 
But he wants to go that changeup again, and he still doesn't quite have it, right? Uh, I think there were two. Two in the last four changeups that were not well executed, right? So uh, I'm a little frustrated. I'm like, guys, just you need to establish that fastball inside. Uh, so now it's now it's 2-0. and oh. Get that fastball going. And he tries to, but it's 96, and it's away. And this is, again, the same thing. Trevor Rogers is not calibrated right now. He's going too far away. You got to push him the other way. You got to you gotta get him this way. You got to get him focus on this so that maybe he can start finding that edge again. You know, I mean, this is, this is in many ways, this is on the catcher because as a pitcher, you're not trying to think about this stuff. You know, I mean, you're not trying to recalibrate yourself. You're trying to think about what's going on with those last couple pitches. And you need the catcher to calm you down and be like, hey, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to call this and we're going to get back into that. Uh, so here we are, 3-0. Three, uh, once the bug doesn't – oh, my God, bug. Did it replay it? No. What's going on here? I want to see that. He walks. Apparently, it's a four-seamer, and they're just not showing it to me. Uh, so he walks Robles, I guess, and they're not going to let me see it. They got the end of it here. <laughs> No. All right, fine. Whatever. He walked him, and I'm upset about it. We're going to move on. So here we go. First pitch. Ah, there we go. See, there it is. That's the pitch that we want. We want a four-seamer inside, right? And look at that beautifully spotted 95. That's wonderful. Okay, good. The throw into first. Do not care. <laughs> so now 0-1. Throw it again. Hey, good frame. Way to catch that. And hopefully that's not going to be called a strike because it's not where he went after it. That was borderline strike. He got the call. Love it. Love it. That's two there. Harrison's a little upset because I think he's noting the catcher movement. But that's a strike. Just got it, but that's a strike. So now at 0-2, considering now you've recalibrated, I mean, you just threw two fastballs inside. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to throw that changeup now. You know? You've seen him at a certain velocity. Take that off. Uh, and throw that changeup down now, and you've got Harrison dead to rights. Especially considering that he's looking inside now. You know, throw that here. Throw that right here, down and away changeup, 100% of the time. But they're not going to do that, are they? Ah, oh, ah, oh, terrible. It's terrible. Oh, man. Okay, so, so, so here are the things. Here are the quick, quick notes here, okay? 0-2, you're going to be more defensive. And what that generally means is that Harrison has in his head, okay, he has a changeup that he might go off speed with. What that generally means is that you're going to be, you're willing to be slightly late on the fastball in order to, uh, in order to get the timing better for the changeup or slider that could be coming, right? You essentially need to make compromises at 0-2. You're not going to sell out for things, uh, and generally, that means you might be a little behind on a heater. So, as a pitcher, what you don't want to do is leave a fastball not only elevated up, but away. Because what then they can do, especially if they're later, that means it gives they get more time to then push the ball the other way for a hit and make contact. This is essentially the worst place you can put a fastball right now. Because he's going to be a little bit later on it, and then he can just push it to right field. And it's just, ah, uh, I mean, that's not really what the intent was. The intent was here, right? He's trying to elevate it above, and Rodgers does make the mistake. And this really does look like Chris Sale right now, by the way, I got to say. Um, but then he stays up as opposed to Sale falling down. Um, and by the way, these mechanics are really good, if you ask me. Look how straight he is. He's, he's going straight to it. Arm is up. Really like to see that. But as to, as to, just look where that final location is. Ugh, not what you want at all. Just not what you want. Hey, you should have called a changeup. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so now you got two outs. Um, did they throw him out at first or pick him off or something? Why is there? Oh, they probably tried to do like a. What's going on? I'm missing it in that bat here. Sounds to me like there was. Oh, what what's going on? 
Why am I missing? I'm missing it at bat. I don't know. Uh, they're not giving me in at bat, which is very frustrating. Uh, but anyway, fine. Here's the situation. It's two outs now. You have Trey Turner. You have a man on first. I I'm assuming something happened with a pickoff or whatever where – or maybe there was an at bat. Uh, no. I don't know. Something happened. They picked off Robles at second, and then he stole. Thank you very much. Uh, inside move. Oh, man. That's annoying. I. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Man on second, two out now. You got to gift Trevor Rogers, But you have Trey Turner. And generally with a man on second, the first thing you do, you throw something off speed uh, just to keep them off balance, especially considering you have the open base at first. And Trey Turner is the best hitter in this Nationals lineup. So you don't really want Trey Turner to be the one to beat you in this situation. So you're going to pitch around him a little bit. And I would imagine change up or slider first pitch here. So there is a changeup, or maybe it was a slider. I mean, they're calling it slider. Okay, it's hard to tell from this, but it did look like a more uh, lateral movement. Slider, he tried to get a first pitch strike in it, didn't get it, and, and Trey Turner's too smart for this. Um, he's not going to swing at that. We're going to move on. I would throw a changeup here. He's looking for a fastball. And he did go with a changeup. Again, Trey Turner, knowing what's coming, it's too smart for this. That's a really good changeup, honestly, if you want to chase, because that's, that's starting over the plane, and it's just not. But essentially, Trey Turner is thinking, if this ball is in this quadrant, I'm not swinging. If it starts up here, he's swinging, and then if it falls into this, that's still a strike, and you can still make contact out of it. But he's thinking, if it's a fastball that's thrown here, fine, bless him, good job, you got a strike. If it starts here, then I'm not going to swing on the chance that it also is a changeup that falls off. So now, 2-0, you think, is he going to throw me a fastball or not? Honestly, if I'm... If I'm uh, Rogers again, I'm thinking like, no, I want him to get himself out. I would go probably a changeup instead. And he does—he goes a slider, I think. Maybe it was a tug changeup. They're calling it a changeup. Uh, but right, so that's the idea. So now 3-0. Is Trey Turner going to swing? Look, look, execute that fastball inside and do it right, but do not throw a meatball. Okay, they threw a fastball away. I think they were trying to get that inside. Maybe not. I. Uh, Trey Turner's like, that's not what I was looking for. That's not, you know, 3-0, you're looking for one pitch, one spot. That wasn't it. Okay. Kind of went from ball four, but fine. Changeup is probably the pitch here um, as he has a fastball away now. No, he tries to execute another fastball. It doesn't quite hit it. Okay, fine. Gets the walk. No worries. Now you have Ryan Zimmerman coming. And this is the about that matters. This is the last one we'll do today. So now he's got to attack a little bit. I mean, it's probably not going to be fastball. Same rule applies. Big hitter, second base. Probably throw some sort of secondary pitch. He hasn't thrown a slider effectively. I'm thinking that the changeup is probably the better pitch. We'll probably see that. It looks like we did get it. Again, really hard to tell the angle. And we see the depth, but we don't really know what the uh, the horizontal bend was. I want to say it was a slider, actually. Changeup? No. Okay. See? <laughs> not easy to see. I. Uh, but right, he got the swing. He got the aggressive Zimmerman. That's a really good sign. So if I see that, I'm like, whew, deep breath, great. 0-1, I have him now in my pocket, right? This is awesome. I'm going to throw a fastball inside. That's my bread and butter. I'm going heater inside now. Oh, wow. So he goes change up away. He's like, nope, not going to give you that heater. And it's a change up away. Fouled off. And Zimmerman was really upset because that's that's kind of like the uh, – that's kind of what I was talking about with Trey Turner where you're essentially locking off a quadrant. But that pitch started up here, so Zimmerman's like, all right, I'm going for it. Just missed it. Almost poked it right field. Just missed that. So 0-2. You've thrown two changeups. The thought process is you go a high heater. But you got to get this inside because you have him leaning a little bit here. You got to get this up here, right? If you're going to throw that here, you do that. I will also mention – Another changeup would be kind of great. You see him switch, swing aggressively on them twice. There's a chance that Zimmerman is just waiting for a fastball, think he's going to get one in one, three pitches, kind of like a gambit. And uh, so Rodgers, well, he goes for it, but he misses it. Look at this. This is right. Ah, oh, you don't want to do this. This is 0-2. I'm all about upper third fastballs, but not all the time. This needs to be out of the zone. Rodgers knows it. And I'm going to give you guys the full highlight. Look, ah, uh, 
And he, everyone knows it in the stadium. And it's gone. Oh, he was so close. Like, Rodgers, I think, did a lot of the right things in this inning. You know, he got his got ahead with his change-ups, set up this pitch, and but Zimmerman was just waiting for a fastball the entire time. He was going to swing at it. He was going to swing at this one or that one or whatever out of the zone. It was there. He just gave him too good of one. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, so that's going to do it for today's uh, today's video breakdowns. If you guys want to request these, uh, definitely, definitely be there on Twitch. Twitch Twitch.tv slash Pitchless. And, of course, I'll be posting these on YouTube uh, through the week. So definitely, as I have to say, of course, subscribe. You know, hit that bell or whatever it is. Uh, like the videos, all that kind of stuff. But thank you guys for the support. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.